Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. And for those of you guys that have found this video, you guys are most likely having issues with your DJI Avatar or your DJI FPV drone that you just recently purchased, where you just activated it, you've just turned everything on, and now you're getting the dreaded country code uh, not updated error or message. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. Okay, so all you need to do, you just need to open up your browser, navigate to DJI Downloads. Once you've opened the DJI Download page, just go to Download Center. We're going to have to download the software. So just go to Software, and you're going to see there's lots of DJI Assistant Series 1. So we're going to go down to DJI Assistant 2 Series 1, and then you're going to see there are quite a few. Now, DJI has made this very confusing, but you are using the DJI Avatar, which is an FPV drone. So if you scroll down to DJI FPV Series 1, DJI Assistant 2 for FPV, you scroll down and you can see that it supports DJI Goggles, DJI Goggles and the DJI FPV system, which is not what we need for the Avatar. So the digital FPV systems for the, um, the V2 goggles, as well as the V1 goggles, as, and the air units that you've got as well, or the Cadex Vistas. But for the uh, DJI Avatar specifically now, because this is the latest drone causing the most problem, you have to go find the correct ones. If I click on the assistant number two, you're gonna see it's gonna support quite a lot of other drones. So we've got to find the one that we need. So if I go to Mavic, you can see it supports those drones over there. And if I go down to the consumer drones, because I'm assuming the latest ones with the Air 2S and those drones all support, are supported by the consumer drone series version. And guess what? If I scroll down, the DJI FPV drone is supported by the consumer drone one and the DJI Avatar. So you're going to need to download the DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drone series one. And you can decide if you want to download for Mac or for Windows. I've already downloaded it, so you can just download and install it on your machine. Once you've installed it on your machine, all you need to do is just click and open DJI Assistant. You can see this FPV series, but I want to open consumer drones. Just give it a second to open. And now what you need to do is you need to connect your Avatar or your DJI FPV drone to the PC. So just give me a second so I can hook my machine up. Now as you can see, I've just connected my Avatar to the machine. It's now going to take my Avatar as a flash drive. One of the nicest things about the Avatar is, is that you can um, connect it to your machine without having to power it on. But in this case, we've now just connected to the PC, so it's picking up as a flash drive. But we need to power up the Avatar so that we can get to the flight controller settings, so actually flash the firmware. So in this case, don't be worried. The DJI software is incredibly easy to use. So here, you can see I've got my Avatar plugged in. You can see now I've just turned it on, and it's now going to connect to the machine. So you open your consumer drone. DJI Assistant, and then you connect your Avatar and you power it up. Once it's powered up, you can just see it's going to pick up your flash drive and items. Remember, you've got to have it powered up. Do not have it uh, just in a storage mode. Since we want to update the software on the drone, select your Avatar or your DJI FPV drone. Doesn't make a difference. And you'll see this section over here where you can see the firmware version is the same, but we still have the country code error. So what we do is all we do is just click refresh start update and you wait it's actually going to take about five minutes it's not going to take very long and it's just going to download the software quickly depending on your internet connection actually and once it's done it is going to go through the process of flashing the firmware you basically just reloading the software so just give it a second you can see there we go it's going to start updating my battery is obviously fully charged so it's going to go nice and quick if your battery is below 50 percent it's going to give an error but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. As you can see, it's going to go really, really quickly. And there we go. You can hear it restarting. Just give it a second. Almost done. There we go. Detected everything. Now I can close it up again. Firmware update done. And now that should, that should fix your problem. 
Guys, thank you very much for watching. This is just a quick little video. If you like what I'm doing, please consider to click the subscribe button below. Also, check out my other videos uh, with regard to the Avata, the range test that I've done versus the DJI PV drone. It's a quite an incredible little drone. Anyway, see you guys in the next one.